What's up, everybody? Franchise Kicks, Clint coming to you. And yes, this actually is a Supreme video coming from Franchise Kicks. I don't buy Supreme. I don't buy Bape. I don't buy any of that crap. And I think this might be the first ever video that has to do with anything to do with these hype beasts, kind of like uh, young adult clothing brands. It's only because the story intrigues me. That's why I'm covering it. Because uh, I talk about stuff on my YouTube channel that interests me. And I am a full-time reseller. And I deal with uh, going directly with companies, buying stock. And I also deal with liquidations, buying out surplus from stores closing out. Like from Amazon, I will buy directly from them. They're overstock for discounted prices. So here's what happened. Supreme, I guess, blank t-shirts. Authentic Supreme t-shirts have been found at several locations around the country at Kmarts. It's been verified that uh, there's been some Kmarts in California, Massachusetts, and Idaho so far that have had these blank Supreme, like it could be box logo t-shirts. It's basically a box logo t-shirt just blank on the front. And uh, Kmart selling them for $4. $4. That is it. So people are saying, you know, it's bull crap. They have to be fake. Um, people don't believe it. But you know what? Here's how liquidation works. The company who makes the t-shirts for Supreme now for the past several years was a company called American Apparel. And they also uh, make t-shirts for several other clothing brands like Kmart. Some of the Kmart uh, branded t-shirts, like t-shirts that they sell of just, you know, their crap is made by American Apparel. American Apparel also makes... Uh, like, uh, I, well, I could go through them and have my t-shirts made with the same shirt, same quality as Supreme. Because Supreme t-shirts really aren't any kind of special quality. It's just a basic cotton t-shirt made by the same company who makes t-shirts for places like Kmart, Walmart, um, and other designers. So, American Apparel filed for bankruptcy early 2016, if I remember correctly. Or, no, late 2016, early 2017-ish. They're bankrupt. So, what happens when a company goes bankrupt, they have to liquidate all their assets as part of the bankruptcy agreement, uh, depending on what chapter that they go for. So, obviously, American Apparel had to liquidate assets, and some of the assets is leftover clothing. So obviously, these t-shirts were meant to be made into possibly Supreme Box logos, uh, like Gucci Main shirts or the Michael Jackson shirts by Supreme, but they never made it to Supreme because Supreme uh, contracts their shirts to be made by American Apparel, and then American Apparel produces the shirts for Supreme. So, what, what Kmart, which is owned by Sears, basically what Sears did is they obviously struck a deal with the bankruptcy courts. They agreed to buy out inventory left over from American Apparel. How much? I have no idea. But they obviously they bought out all or some of their merchandise. And you're seeing it now popping up in Kmart. And uh, I guess several of the Kmarts, because... I don't shop at Kmart. Like nobody does. So pretty much, I don't think anybody knew that Kmart had blank Supreme like box logo T-shirts, uh, authentic T-shirts. Because who shops at Kmart? So what happened was, Kmart obviously Kmart slash Sears. It's the same company has been in the deficit now for over a decade. Both companies are losing buttloads of money, and they're and Sears Kmart are closing a lot of stores this year. And uh, as stores are closing, some people are going to these stores, checking out what's available for cheap prices, and they're like, oh my God, they have Supreme shirts here, authentic Supreme shirts. Because who shops at Kmart? Nobody. But once the Kmart says we're closing in 30 days, 
people are like, you know what, let's see what I can find there. And that's why people are finding these Supreme shirts now. These Kmarts might have had these shirts for months on their sales floor. It's just, it's just nobody knew about it because I don't know anybody who shops at Kmart, especially for clothes. I don't know anybody. So um, that's what's crazy is uh, Kmart has Supreme shirts. So check your local Kmarts. Like right, like tomorrow, I'm gonna go out around the city, and I'm gonna check Kmart's, and I might stop in a few Sears, even though Sears hasn't had any yet. But you never know. But uh, here's kind of like the part of the story that kind of worries me a little bit, since these are authentic blank. I've seen some shirts that were white. I saw black ones, teal, I think yellow. So these are authentic Supreme t-shirts and what's going to be scary is um let's say a person walks into kmart buys their entire stock of say 50 blank supreme t-shirts they could find a, a t-shirt designer who can uh fabricate like the box logo print which isn't that hard to do and put it on an authentic supreme t-shirt so, like, all a Supreme t-shirt is, like where it says uh, Supreme here in white and red, it's just pretty much, they just slap it on there. Like, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing to really signify if it was done by Supreme or not. Most of these Supreme shirts, as far as I know, are done by legit checks on the tag on the shirt and the fabric of the shirt and the stitching of the shirt. Guess what? These $4 Supreme blank t-shirts are authentic. And the ones that people, they found at Kmart, whenever you flip over on the back of the tag, there is the Supreme watermark. If you out there, if you are a Supreme buyer, if you're a Supreme collector, I'd be very, very careful, um, especially I'd say within the next few months, of buying Supreme clothes on the secondary market. Even legit places that sell Supreme clothing like your uh, Urban Necessities because it's on, it'll be maybe the Michael Jackson, like the Supreme shirt. All it was was a picture of Michael Jackson put onto a t-shirt. Like it would be very easy for people to find that same Michael Jackson picture and just Put it onto a blank Supreme shirt. I guarantee you 99 out of 100 people would have no idea that the shirt's real, but the print on the front was done by a third party. So be careful about that. This is more of a warning video because I am a reseller myself. And hell, if I find any blank Supreme t-shirts around my city, I'm gonna buy them all up and uh, throw them on eBay. Uh, see what I can sell them for. I mean, for four bucks a t-shirt, even if I can sell them for 25 bucks a piece, which shouldn't be that hard to do, a blank authentic Supreme t-shirt for 25 bucks that you can take and customize whatever you want to customize it as, you can do whatever, like you like you could do a Louis Vuitton Supreme like box logo collab on that blank t-shirt pretty easily. There's so many people out there with some crazy Photoshop skills that could very easily make whatever Supreme logo they want to make from a previous shirt that was very expensive and have it look exactly like the original authentic one on an authentic shirt so crazy so as a reseller myself because I do buy in bulk I have uh, deals with certain companies and I do clean out um, liquidated companies or places that go bankrupt I liquidate them out I buy up all their stock like I deal with Amazon I buy their overstock direct from them for discounted prices and then resell it myself at my own business. So as a reseller, this really intrigues me because I would love to get my hands on a hundred of these blank Supreme shirts 
And I think you can make some killer money with these shirts. So, be on the lookout. Check your Kmarts. Do not try to make a box logo yourself and sell it as an authentic one. I don't uh, advocate for that. But if you want to get an authentic Supreme blank t-shirt and make your own uh, collab with Louis and Supreme and you're rocking an authentic Supreme shirt with your own thing that you put on it, do it. Who cares? But don't try to scam somebody else with it because it's going to happen. People are going to try to sell their own third mark or third party Supreme t-shirts from, from this liquidation find at Kmart. It's going to happen. So be careful, be on the lookout, know what you're buying, and you better know how to authenticate Supreme t-shirts very, very well here in the future. So subscribe to my channel, big thumbs up to this video, big thumbs down, whatever you want. It's up to you. Comment below. Hit me up on Twitter at Franchise Kicks. Hit me up on Instagram at Franchise Kicks. And I'll see you later.